Hey guys, this is episode 10. Uh, sorry about the abrupt ending there. Um, if I don't finish recording in the within 10 minutes, it or I should say within 11 minutes, it usually gets very unhappy with me and deletes whatever I have uh, recorded. So I was freaking out and I didn't want anything to happen to the recording. Um, but anyway, I'm making some changes because as it was, I don't really want this cold, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, it it really wasn't what I wanted, um, and so I'm gonna move the T flip flop closer to the actual um, door, just because over here, um, in order to make the in order to make the another button over back in the house connect to or flip the switch, I would have to make it so that that button sends a signal all the way over here that sends a signal all the way back and that was just ridiculous so instead I, this is just dirt so I'm just gonna alright so it's yeah okay we're good nobody will ever know alright um so this one comes over here and then I'm going to have it go underground under well I mean I suppose my whole house is underground but I'm gonna have it go under the hallway here and actually could it fit could it go all the way there one two three four five six seven oh eight nine ten eleven twelve if I put it if I put it right here I won't be able to walk through because the um, my head, my feet, is hit, my foot is hitting there, and my head is hitting up here. So if I try to walk through, it doesn't let me. So I've got to put it over here. But this should work because that powers the block underneath it, which powers this. So yeah. And then I'll just pull the wire across here and up there. And since I can't really see what's up there right now, nope. Okay. This is going to be annoying. Okay, so then we've got this one, which powers that. And I wanted to put a button over here. And so that goes through there. And, oh, wrong direction. Um, that works too, actually. I'm going to put the T flip flop like here, um, so that I can. Um, how am I going to do this? All right, I'm going to have to clear out some space. Okay, so this will be the. Um, T flip flop, those two blocks that I was indicating are going to be the actual T flip flop part. And the. Okay, I'm going to need to have. Just break those so I can make enough room for all the stuff. Because believe me, you want to have all of the um, things like. Uh, see, it's it's annoying because I want the power to come out this way, but that's where one of the inputs is. I guess I could try to go around, but I don't know. We'll, we'll just try it like this. Um, okay, we've got that there. I'll put that there. That goes on top. That goes there. And then we have one there, one there. Um, do this. Put torch there, torch there then this can come around and feed into it like that. Um, these signals don't matter much. It's it's this signal that I want. And I have to put that there or else the stone will the redstone will connect to up here and I don't want that. So I'm going to have to take this around no around this way to avoid 
coming into contact with the piston. And I can't do it there because if I put the redstone over this, then that thing will glitch out, and I don't want that. So let's go like this. And here we are. And then let's see. Um, if I put this. Nope. There we go. Nope. That doesn't work. Um put this here, go above like that, then cut across here. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Now I need to get out. Crap. <laughs> um, I want the stone. Alright, so I don't think anything should spawn in here. Um, but just in case, I've got, I've got a bunch of lighting now, so... Okay. <laughs> There we go. And I think I can get out this way. Okay, so now, if I, oh, it's nighttime. All right, I wanted the button on, on this side, not, not this side. Um, so I'll sleep the night, and then, let's see. Okay, well, it did something, but I'm not exactly sure what. Um, oh, there's nothing on there. Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, okay, so it flipped this, I'm assuming, which is nice, but I don't. doesn't seem to have done anything. So, you know, that's not fantastic. Okay, I know why. I know why now. Because I inverted the signal over here. Because I'm a poopy head. And... You know what? Good enough, I think? Oh, no, that's... <sighs> I have to make everything so difficult, don't I? Now, I can't get out of here. Okay, well that dirt, I'm just going to have to lose it. Um, oh, oh, there we go. And, oh, I don't have to, okay. So then, I just do this. And now, okay. These aren't actually getting powered. That's why I uh, screw the stone. Okay. Nope, still not getting powered. <laughs> oh god, and now I'm stuck down here. Okay. Yeah, don't don't follow my redstone wiring advice or my don't follow my example, is what I tried to say. Okay, that's fine. It's coming out here. It does not reach there. <laughs> okay. So I'll have to do that. So now it reaches that one and the other side. All right, cool. So now I may make this door glass, because it'd be really cool. I'll take down this sign, because it's not necessary anymore. And now this button opens the door. I can also take down this door, because it's just really redundant right now. And then I can come out here and hit this button, and also shut the door. Again, it's not the best uh -huh, redstone door, piston door, but... Uh, no, I don't like that. It doesn't look natural. I like the natural look of things. I don't like how it looks when I mess with everything, usually because I mess it up. Um, and then I can take down this, and this, and this. I wonder if that button actually did anything. I don't want to mess with it, just in case. See, I need to put this, like, on a wool block. Because it's almost totally invisible right now. 
And I mean, I could easily turn this into a hidden button where you just, instead of having a button, um, you would just put a redstone torch. And just putting it on would turn it on or off, depending on which one you're doing. Like, normally you would want it so that it's... The way that I do it, you could go like this, and it'll just open or close the door if you do it fast enough, but putting it on, because it uses a block update detector, and oh jeez, I'm over time again. Ugh, I'll explain that sometime later, but um, that's the piston door, it's cool, it works, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.